Yes, you! Do you want to travel in between places instantaneously? Do you only care about destination and not the journey? Want to get back to that glacier you found two days back with your new Silk Touch pickaxe, but don't want to take the two-day trek? Troubles having to walk back miles to the Pilger Outpost over and over again so you can grind down those Dingle Snoop Deviants with your powers of Invent Rebirths? Hate having to leave your bedroom to travel through the living room to get to the bathroom, knowing the whole time that while you're in the living room of false family friendliness, your related roommates are silently judging you for your failures and lack of pants? Well then, do I have the solution for you? And that's Waystones, the mod brought to you by Playeth the Nymph. This wonderful mod is for Java Edition Minecraft. It has lovely capacity B for many versions. Right now I'm using 1.16.4 edition, but also comes in such flavors as 1.12.2 edition and tasty 1.15 whatever, because no one cares about those versions. This superb mod can be found in all places that you find mods, and it packs a punch of potential in what it puts out. But what does this mod do? Well, it adds phallic standing stones that let you travel anywhere instantly, free of charge, as long as you've been to the location you wish to travel to before, unless you're playing with multiplayer and have global settings on. But I don't, so that doesn't matter. Now you can find these waystones in the world randomly, line about or near villages, which they often spawn in, but not always. But your way hopping does not need to be hindered by having to go to predetermined locations dictated by the random chance and placement of God. You can make these lovely dimensional deviating devices and travel to your own destinations of choice with a low, low cost of your soul. Alternatively, you can just go find the in-game recipe, which I will show you now. It is a very cheap thing to make if you have the ingredients. And worry not, you'll get your bang for your buck. Only an emerald and four ender pearls, a little bit of paste, is a pretty payable price for the powers of instantaneous transportation. Then just three obsidian, the little gem thing you made, some stone on top, and boom, there you go. And these monoliths come in three different distinct flavors. Classic stone for the classic guy. Sandstone if you're a little bit gritty. And for the natural aesthetic, you can cover your pillar in vines to really show how much you love nature. Just don't do that in public. Now, for whatever reason, let's just say you want to have a way home on the go. Or you just want to always have a way to get back to where you were. Or perhaps you just want the option of traveling without having to tickle a stone pickle. Well then, you can use scrolls. There are three kinds of these papery parchments. Bound, Return, and the good one. Bound brings you back to a bound stone, so slap that stone with your scroll, and it will be bound there for now on, and always on the go. Return brings you back to the last stone you activated, or can just be bound like bound scroll, so there's not much difference between it and the first one. But the real scroll you'll be wanting to use is the warp scroll. It's like a portable one-use waystone, and it rocks without being made of rock. These lovely little things will let you travel with ease. Also, they'll suck you into the screen and make a horrible noise that reminds me of childhood trauma. And that's it for Waystones. This mod literally only has seven items added to the game. And I managed to make a video this long out of it, so that's what I call value. If you want to check this mod out, then there's a link below. If you want to support this channel, do what you think will help, and if not, then don't. Well then, anyways, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, Goodbye.